sort of when I got to be a cheerleader and and go to the the, the school games and be on a cheering squad and all that stuff that I never thought I'd be able to do, but it was part of the experience, I think, of being a historically black college. It's like everybody there is learning and having the opportunity to experience all of those things that I never experienced when I was in high school because I was a minority and didn't get to be a part of stuff or I was afraid to it. I wasn't considered to to do it, but I, and nobody certainly encouraged me to do it. But when I was there, it was all this encouragement to do all the kinds of things that you think about doing when you're, when you're young, but you don't really get to do. And so I got to be a cheerleader and I got to be uh, a, a Miss something. I think it was Miss kind of New York at the homecoming. I never parade. dreamt that I would ever do, but being in the environment of, of a historically black college is that sense of belonging and sense of support and sense of almost like a sense of family that I got to do all those things, you know, including having a boyfriend. And, um, and so that was some of the wonderful thing. And later on, my kids just asked me about that. I got to participate in the, in the sit-ins, uh, doing the, I'm not going to tell you what year that was. And and going to the uh, Woolworths and sitting at the lunch counter and being a part of that historical historical experience uh, that was to break down segregation in in public places in the South. And um, I got a chance to participate in that.